Hey folks, Kevin here. Well, it's February 15th. I'm in the lower part of the North Shop area. Um, and I'm by the south wall, uh, this wall that I've been working on. I've talked previously about installing the insulation above uh, this wall where the uh, floor joists are from, a, from above. Those are 2 by 8 floor joists above my head here. And uh, what I'm doing, to, uh, what I've been doing so far, a little bit yesterday when I had time between snow work, and today is cutting up lots and lots of the five, uh, five and a half by seven and a quarter uh, pieces of rigid foam insulation, predominantly polyisocyanurate, but there is some other uh, closed cell um, uh, pieces as well that I'm using. And it goes from eighth inch all the way up to uh, three and a half inches thick the pieces that I've cut up so far. So I've been slicing and dicing up all of the scrap pieces that I've been saving that I showed in a previous video. And uh, and I've got them set. And so one of the things I'm working on, the other wall I've already done, but the fitting the polyisocyanate, getting the insulation, creating a good wind barrier between the outside uh, where the soffit overhangs ab above me here. Uh, installing the insulation in between each one of those uh, floor joists up there on that top plate for this wall. So I hammer those in really snug and tight so that there's a really good wind barrier and thermal barrier and of course polyisocyanurate is also a pretty good uh, vapor barrier and water barrier. So that accomplishes all four of the barriers. Uh, it's not a complete thermal barrier because there is some bridging. Those two by eights extend out uh, uh, over the soffit out there. So some energy, some heat will be lost through those two by eights. And we'll cover that in, in a future uh, video, how I'm going to reduce the, the, uh, the flow of heat energy, the, the loss of heat energy from this compartment to the outside. <clears throat> But that's a long ways from now. So today, I'm going to install a lot of those pieces that I've that I've been cutting up. I've already installed a, quite a few on the other wall over there. The reason that I'm doing this install this insulation on this wall, and there's Timmy back there. Ah, uh, the, the, oh, he's a character. All these cats are really something. So he's going to go out and sit on this soffit out there now, run around. So, oh, my boys. So the reason that I'm trying to get insulation above these, these, uh, uh, this wall panel here in between those uh, floor joists, he breaks me up, that cat does, is because I need to uh, button up this corner in order to get this wall set for putting the electric panel here. So on, on the surface of all these walls is going to be another inch and a half uh, uh, insulation polyisocyanurate going right up against this wall and I'll make a video about that and then two by threes are going to be going horizontally and then two by threes going vertically as I posted in, in, in a previous video and then the 5 8 inch uh, pl plywood is going to be attached to, to that. Now if I were just to go ahead and install this wall without getting this wall prepped what would happen is I would have a break in airflow and uh, the, the, I, I, would, I would have a compromise of all four um, barriers, the uh, vapor barrier, the air barrier, the water barrier, water barrier, uh, and air barrier. So those are the, uh, and thermal barrier, sorry. So I really want to make sure that I get this wall prepped uh, to a certain extent so I can put at least eight feet of insulation up because I have eight foot sheets and because the two by threes are eight foot long. So I can at least create a little bit of a U going around this back wall here so that I can start getting some of the uh, electric panel up here as well. And that'll allow me to move some of the materials that I've got to move to in order to work on further down, down the walls down to this area after I've got the plywood up here. I hope that all makes sense. So there'll probably be a little bit of GoPro footage showing me installing uh, these bits and pieces, uh, cutting up the, uh, the insulation board from scraps, and then uh, installing them uh, up into these uh, recessed uh, locations.
So, if you thought this video was if you thought this video was of value, please give us a thumbs up. Share it with your friends if you think it's of value. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Uh, hit that bell icon if you want to get notified when we post more videos. And certainly, folks, I hope you all have a great day. Bye bye now. Thank you.